Hey y'all, it's Sugar B. Evelyn Chanel. Back at it again. the push that I needed to go ahead because I had been contemplating for a little while and kind of just brushing the idea off. Um, but then some stuff happened. Life happened. And once I started to get to the end of that journey, um, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and do this. Um, and I'll explain that more um, later as we go. But as of right now, um, like I said, I'm just going to introduce you guys to this little um, series, like I said, the healing process. Um, and we're going to go through this you, together, you guys. Um, because I have decided to um, reflect on some things that have happened in my life. And I want to share that with you guys because you never know what a person is going through. Um, it's, it's somebody out there that doesn't think they're going to make it. And I just want to give you the encouragement to know that you're going to make it. And that, um you're gonna survive you know you're gonna you're gonna be healed um so as i go through this process um i want you i want to take you guys with me um and just be very vulnerable and let you know that there's someone out there that understands you um and so i'm preparing myself to just be um vulnerable open and stuff with you guys all right so yeah um okay so my purpose for starting this series um it's just to reflect on my life um and to find healing as i'm doing that and to um expose myself in hopes that i can help someone else um even if it's just one person um just help someone else get through their healing and to know that it's okay um that it's not going to take you out even though it seems like it um even when you're at your lowest it's it's, it's not going to take you out um and just to understand it's okay to feel, you know, because a lot of times we act like we shouldn't have feelings or we shouldn't be upset or we shouldn't cry or we shouldn't be mad, you know, and we're human. It's okay. It's, it's okay. We just have to um, learn to deal with things and we have to learn to um, reflect and to figure out the root of problems so that we can go through life and we won't continue to let the things of the past um, affected. I'm not going to preach or nothing like that, um, but I'm just going to give you um, my life story. I'm just going to be open with you guys and um, allow you to see within me uh, what I've gone through and just to step into my life. Um, yeah, I think it's important for you to um, follow my my um, Instagram. And if you go to my Instagram page, I have um, like the little what do you call them? <laughs> the little things that you can save your stories on, basically. And so I have two titled, or well, two as of now, and um, one is healing. What well, there are two, and they're both healing. One is watch one first, and then watch two. Um, and those are just the little words of encouragement that I have been posting um, lately following up to the decision to go ahead and post it. And if you have come because you were watching my Instagram channels, then you probably already watched those. But if not, just take the time out to watch those. Um, just a couple of things that I have to prepare you guys for this um, series. Just a few things. I want to. I want you to not only just remember these things, but I want you to um, prepare yourself in order to be healed. So my first thing is for you to reflect on your friendships. Okay, so um, I need you to reflect on your friendships um, and to think about the people that are 
truly there for you. Um, not just there, oh girl, I'm here for you, but the people that um are in you who are there for you when it's hard to be there for you. When you are being that person that you know it's hard to, to love sometimes. So don't get frustrated with you. Um because personally like with me, um I'm one of those people who likes to go ghost and disappears and feels like they can handle things on their own and we're not supposed to be like that, you know. We handle stuff on our own to a certain extent, but we're not meant to just be on our own, you know. Which what what really went ahead and pushed me to do this is because I was going through a depression at the end of um, 2019 or whatever, and um, I had I have a friend, my best friend. She was there for me. Um, even when I I couldn't be there for myself, she prayed for me when I couldn't pray for myself. She was very patient. Um, she was just there, you know. Um, she didn't get frustrated when I wasn't talking. She didn't get frustrated when I just up and disappeared. Every time I call, every time I text, she was right there. Um, she came. She she was there. She was a true friend. And those are the type of people that you need to have around you. Um, eventually, I'm pretty sure y'all get to meet Hannah. Um, because, like I said, that is my, my best friend. So... Yeah, um, my second thing is um, come to terms with your past um, so that it no longer has power over you. Um, so, yeah, come to terms with your past so that it no longer has power over you. Um, and as I'm telling you guys, this, this is what I'm doing myself. Like, this series is allowing me um, to do this. So, as I'm telling you story times um, about the stuff that I've gone through, um... I'm going to be taking notes myself. I'm going to be um, reflecting. Um, so it's going to be raw. When I'm telling y'all these stories, this is me reliving it again. Except for the very last story. I'll kind of be reliving it again. But I'm also going through it at the same time. So it's not as... Well, it's more. It's way more painful than the rest of them. But it's just like... It's not something that I'll have to like, ooh, you know, think about. Because I'll be, I, I'm going through it. So, yeah, there's that. Um, but as I'm doing that, I ask you guys to do that as well. You know, just reflect over your past. Um, take notes. And not to reflect over your past so that it has power over you, but to reflect over your past so that we can figure these things out together. We can figure out um, what's still affecting you that you didn't realize was still affecting you. What still has a hold on you. Um, things that you haven't healed over, but you just covered up. Um, and didn't really... You just slap the band-aid on and then kept going um because we tend to do that a lot we don't really look and you know some people don't believe in just you know reflect on the past but i'm one of those people because in order for you to have a better future you have to um get to the place where you can let things of the past go where you can you know not cover them up but you know expose them and heal from them and figure out where your bad habits come from and change those habits so yeah and this ain't gonna happen overnight like it's not gonna happen overnight the stories that i'm about to tell y'all have happened all my life okay <laughs> uh all my life so i'm 22 years old and i'm just now getting to the point where i'm doing this so yeah there's that okay um my third thing is for you to consider your personal space. Um, and when I say this, I mean um, consider your personal space, consider your um, your inner circle. Um, people that are easily influenced by the enemy, um, they can't be here. They cannot be in this space. As, you, as you're going through this, you're going to find yourself being very, very, very vulnerable, okay? And you don't need the wrong people in your space um, that are easily influenced. You know you and you know what you can and can't handle. And if you don't know what you can and can't handle, you're about to find out. And so once you find out that one time, take note of that and switch it up. Do what you got to do, okay? Um, I need you to protect People who are easily influenced by the enemy, they cannot be in this space because if they are easily influenced by the enemy, then they can be influenced to do something that may hurt you, that may anger you, that may throw you off the track. And we don't need that because we're we're healing, you know. Put those friends, put them on the back burner. Hey, look, 
We got to keep it to a minimum. Go, go. Do what you got to do. Um, Four is um, be nice to someone daily. Be nice to someone. Um, You never know what a person is going through. You never know what little things you can say that will, you know, brighten their day. You don't know how that will affect them. And you never know when it's going to come back on you. Um, Because if you are watching this, then you're probably going through something currently. Or you've been through something before. And I'm pretty sure you know how it feels to um have someone just be nice to you when you're not. Or even if you've had a bad day before and someone's been nice to you. You know, you know how that feels. It does a lot like it really warms your heart you know just the 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 simplest things a person could say and so as we're going through this process you know you may be wishing for someone to say something nice to you um take that step you know and say something nice to someone else and i'm almost certain it'll come back around you know is it if it hasn't already you know and if it has already like i said just reflect on how you felt when they did that to you and do it for someone else you know be nice um five and this is one this probably is the most important um the second most important um but just know that it's okay to feel um, it's okay um, to cry. It's okay to um, be angry. Um, it's okay to be frustrated and upset. Um, feel those things. Feel those emotions. Um, because you don't want to get to a point to where you um, don't allow yourself to see those emotions. And you um, let it overcome you. You blow up because you've held on to all these things. And... I'm saying this to y'all because that's what happened to me. Um, I held on to stuff because um, I've always been like that. I've always been a person to bury stuff. Um, and I reached my final straw and I blew up. Um, so I don't want you guys to get to that point. And if you've been at that point, it's okay. Um, it's okay. It's okay. Um, we just got to gather ourselves. Um, come back and six uh move at your own pace but don't stop moving um don't let anyone make you feel like oh you have to get over it right now you have to do this or you have to do that you don't have to if you cannot then you can't and no one can tell you that you can no one knows how you feel except for you and the good lord you get what i'm saying i hate when people be like um, you got to get over it or this, that, and the other. Or you shouldn't let no one make you feel like that. Or you shouldn't, you know, you should never come to that point because you never know what a person is going through. Um, we all handle things differently. And the way I handle something may not be the way you handle something. You may be able to handle something better than I do, you know, but you can't tell a person how to feel. You can't tell a person how fast to move because if you're truly not ready, to move past it then even if i say hey come on pick up your space you know pick up your pace deep down in your heart you ain't gonna do nothing but rebury it so we're not even gonna we just gonna uh, stop there right there you move at your own pace don't feel rushed don't feel rushed because like i said if you're not ready to go past it even five and that's not what we're trying to do with this process. We're trying to move past things. We're trying to get better. So move at your, move at your own pace. Well, you guys, that's all I got for this um, video. Um, I am kind of anxious. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to sit here and be like, I can't wait to share my story with you guys. No, I'm a little anxious. Um, but I know that it has to be done. Um, because I know that the things we go through aren't just for us. They're for other people. Um. And I want to share my stories in hopes of, one, that someone else doesn't go through the things I went through. And two, that somebody is able to be healed, you know. And how can we do that? How can we help each other if we're all quiet? And so, I'm no longer going to be quiet. I'm going to speak. I'm going to talk. Um, and I'm pretty sure there are going to be a lot of people that... May get upset by some of the things that I say, but this is my perspective. This is what I felt. And no one can tell you what you feel. You know what I'm saying? If that's what you felt, then that's what you feel. I don't have a reason to lie. I'm not going to get no help out of that. Because like I said before, 
as I'm reflecting over my life, trying to heal my life, I want y'all, you know, I want to help y'all at the same time. So what good would it do me if I'm lying about something? So I have no reason to lie. Um, these stories are from my perspective. Um, and I'm sharing my raw emotions with you, you know, of how I felt in those times. Um, like I said, this is me. Um, this is us. And I, I can say I'm happy to take you guys on this journey with me, you know. Because I know that somebody's life is going to be changed. Like I said, even if it's one person, I'll still be grateful. I'll still be grateful. So, I hope you guys are ready for this ride. We're about to go on. And no, this is not all my channel is going to be about. We're going to do some other things, you know. We're going to do some life updates and stuff like that. But I just want to take you guys along with me on this journey. So, yep. Yeah. <laughs>